The grueling trek is not for the faint of heart or even the most ardent fitness buff. Blistered toes, calloused feet, sore limbs and cramps are just par for the course for participants who underscore the value of endurance and determination. The course from cul-de-sac and back snakes through steep ridges, low-lying valleys and plains. Fit your feet, you need proper shoes. It's very tough. You must have energy and physically fit. It's very challenging, especially for when you have to walk up some of the hills. It's quite difficult, but we'll make it through. Just come for a massage so I can head back to Kalisa. It's okay, but I just get some two crumbs and, and right now we're trying to go to... The grueling round the island Independence Walk has become a staple on the Independence Day itinerary. The Tour de France for St. Lucian's passionate about long-distance walking also drew former Prime Ministers. Very interesting so far. The sun is not too hot for the time being, but I expect some heat about 1 o'clock. You think you're confident you're going to make the journey? Yes, I have to make it. It's a challenge for me. I like challenges. Sheldon Mitchell of the Northern Long Distance Walking Group said of the 180 people who began the walk, 35 were still pounding the pavement in the late stages of the foot race. I think the, the first person is probably in Denry now, um, but heading his way back to, to Kalisa. So we have a good turnout. Um, now is it the, the, the fittest is trying to, to get to the end. Women were not left out in the activity. Yeah, well, um, we have actually a record number of women trying to finish, determined actually to finish. We have about 15 women who are still on the walk and, and they are determined to finish, which is a big improvement from last year. I think last year we had about two or three female finishers. I think this year we may have closer to 10. The Northern Long Distance Group has been in existence for over 30 years. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.